Hey, so today we're going to start working with audio. And uh, because the school uses Apple computers, we do that with this program called GarageBand. Some of you probably are familiar with GarageBand, but I think you're going to become a lot more familiar in the next few weeks as we go through a few projects. You know, we're going to start with something easy where you're just going to make a song. So that's what I'm going to show you how to do today. So you go to the Applications folder. This isn't a web app. It's actually on your computers. And it'll look like this down here, or something like that with a guitar. And when you click it, you should have a screen similar to this. And I want you just to choose the empty project. Um, because you get to make all sorts of choices. And you can just choose voice one. Just keep all the defaults, or, you know, the microphone. Um, for the track, that's fine. Uh, okay, so I'm going to go over a couple things. Um, number one, oftentimes this metronome thing is happening. So when you play... It's got these annoying little clicks, which are useful for music, but we don't really write music in here. So you should turn the metronome off. You can also switch from beats to time if you want up here by clicking uh, this symbol or something like it. For today, we'll use beats. Um, for later projects, we'll probably use uh, the time more. I want you to notice over here that you have a number of things that you can do. Uh, this is like a notepad to keep notes about your project. Uh, this is all the loops that come pre-programmed, and so this is one of the easiest ways to make music, and that's what we're going to start doing today. Uh, there's also this library of um, songs that is loaded into your uh, GarageBand uh, library through um, iTunes, and you'll have more than I have. Now, I don't want you to use these today. I just want you to know that they're there. But uh, So if we go to the loops thing... One of the easiest ways to uh, create music is just to use these loops, and you'll see what they do if you don't already know. Uh, so some of the loops are just drum beats, and we only have some of the clips available. So if they're grayed out, it means that the school doesn't own them and you cannot use them. So this is like a little advertising from Apple here. Hey, buy our beats. So we're not going to do that. So you can use whatever drum beat you want, and you just drag it over, and you'll be able to hear it. 80s backbeat, okay. But it's not really a loop yet, because it's not looping. So if you hover the mouse over the upper right-hand corner, you see it change into, excuse me, that loop symbol. But you can just drag it out now. And instead of just playing once, that'll play four times. And often music is built on four uh, heart repetitions. You get the picture. And to this you can add lots of different tracks. You're not just stuck with one track. Uh, and so we'll click the reset button to have access to all of the different instrumentation instruments. Um, I don't know. Let's choose um, bass. Aggressive stance bass. Sure. Alright. So I'll put that in there. And we'll have that start at measure two, why not? Just so you can get a sense for what it's doing. And one of the neat things is you can uh, change how fast or slow this thing is, and it's able to do that. Obviously, we're going from 120 to 51 makes it sound a little wonky. But, you know, you can have it go a bit faster. It changes the character. Let's add some other instruments. Why not? Uh, electric piano? I don't know. Banjo. <laughs> okay, no. Guitars? Reset. Guitars. We apparently don't own any banjo. I'm gonna go down. Longing guitar? What's this one? What's this one? Alright, why not? We'll use this. Okay, so we want that bass thing to loop more. And we need the drums to keep going. Let's have the drums. Just keep going. Here we go. So, all 
Well, that sounds like a mess to me, so I'm going to change the volume on one of the tracks. Can you do that individually on the tracks by controlling them over here? Um, these symbols are important, so there's this headphone symbol, which means I only want to hear that track. Or there's a mute symbol, which means please don't let me hear that track right now, I just want to work on the other ones. So let's go back, because I turn the volume down. It's actually sort of interesting, I guess. Uh, okay. One of the other things I want you to know how to do is to record your voice. And you do that, it's pretty easy. Uh, you have to add a new track. So track, new track. And we'll choose the voice. Create. And on this audio for track, when it's selected, I'm going to just choose that I want to hear only this track right now. And then I'm going to click record. Here's my voice. You can see how it happens there. Uh, but I paused for too long at the beginning, so you can trim up a track by simply hovering the mouse over the edge, and you see it changes to that, and I'll bring it, I'll trim it to right around there, and then I'll trim the other side, because I don't want it to play that thing, but I, I want to trim it right there, but I can't get there. Well, another important thing to know is that you can zoom in, uh, and you can get a much finer degree of control uh, by doing that, so that you can just trim it down. I believe that's where I want it to go. And let's trim it up more tightly there so that I actually start talking right when the thing plays. Here's my voice. Uh, see, I don't want that little yeah. So you can trim it right back to that. And then here's my voice. Even a little bit more. All right. So now it says, here's my voice. Well, what if we wanted to make that sort of a loop? Uh, Alright, so here's my voice. It's going to start right there. I want to not only hear that track. Now you can select the track and hit Command C to copy it and Command V to paste it, but you want to select a new place to paste it. So you just put the playhead where you would like uh, and then it'll paste it there. So let's listen to what we have now. Here's my voice. Here's my voice. So that's kind of cool, I guess, or weird. Uh, so that's basically what I want you to do. I want you to make a song uh, that includes some sort of recording of voice or sound effect uh, that you use the microphone to record. Um, and I'll tell you how to upload it to SoundCloud uh, tomorrow. But you can do that all day today. Just have some fun kind of getting back into school after the long break. All right. See ya.